Before we even began, David's first question to me was, 100 US dollars, that's for two carts, right? <laughs> oh, David, you're so silly. Cause you gotta remember guys, all right? This is Nintendo we're talking about. Nintendo wants their 60 to what, like 80 US dollars for a software title? Yeah. Okay, and there's a software title included. Plus, Nintendo, I mean, they've done figurines in the past. Hey David, you ever go to the toy store and see a cheap Nintendo figurine? No. That's what I thought. Now we've got a Nintendo figurine that also happens to have a remote control car inside it? Oh, oh, that ain't gonna be cheap. Yes, my friends, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit is very expensive, but it is also quite possibly, by my estimation, the first augmented reality gaming experience that actually matters at all. Pokemon Go? Okay, Pokemon Go is sort of augmented reality. It's barely a game. Is that a game though? It definitely mattered. It definitely mattered. Okay, fine. Let's start with a look at the cart. From a, um, you know, RC enthusiast perspective, I would say there's not a whole lot to this puppy. You got your rear wheel drive. Uh, there is no differential. So you're pretty much just, uh, you're just turning those wheels on the front. Yeah, there you go. You got a servo, probably nothing special, I would assume. I mean, I, pr I probably could crack it open and have a look at it, but long story short, we actually need this for an LTT video very shortly. So I'm gonna try not to break it too hard. So you've got a servo mounted to two non-driven front tires. Tires are removable if you are into that sort of thing, I suppose. Well, what, look, you want me to do, you want me to unbox an RC car or not, David? This is my first time. <laughs> I thought you did a fire truck one time. Okay, I did technically unbox a fire truck, but nobody watched that. The second tier Luigi portion of this unboxing is brought to you by Private Internet Access. PIA is the VPN that encrypts your web traffic and makes websites, when combined with uh, safe browsing practices, make you seem like you are in a different country. It encrypts all your internet traffic and uses a safe, protected IP. You can connect up to five devices at once with a single account, and they've got clients for Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and Linux. Buy a one-year plan for $39.95 and get three months free at the link in the video description. Yep, that's Luigi. It's basically the same thing, but Luigi. Okay then, to Nintendo's credit, just like their Amiibos or any other figures that they've done over the years, the quality of the Mario figurine here is actually really good. Like, does he not look awesome? Up here, we've got your camera. So this is where you're getting your live, well, hence the name of the product, live feed of Mario's point of view effectively as he's ripping around on your floor or on your porch or outside or wherever the case may be. Actually, I wouldn't recommend using it outside because A, you can see that the carts have extremely low clearance from the ground and B, they have no water resistance whatsoever. And the last thing you wanna do is ruin this thing because to my knowledge, there is no way to get a new cart other than to buy the entire kit. The last notable things about the cart are the Type-C charger port that is revealed by flipping up the side, as well as the power button that also acts as a like pairing button. Uh, so you can see, yep, held it down. We've got a couple indicator lights on the back up here and that's pretty much it. That's the cart. So what else do we get? Some instructions. You download the Mario Kart Live Home Circuit game just for free on the Switch, as far as I can tell. Some environmentally friendly, mostly packaging. And finally, Ah, uh, yes, the augmented reality gates. So the Mario Kart game would have no way of knowing, you know, what kind of track you wanna run around on inside your home. So what it uses in order to blend the video game version of what you're playing on your Switch and the reality of your home is these gates. I actually spent a fair bit of time this weekend playing around with it. So it's, if you guys were wondering what the TLDR is, it's, it is really, really fun, but I would never play it by myself. And I will explain why in a moment. Let's set up this gate. So just like Nintendo's uh, Labo lineup of sort of cardboard toys that they've created in the past, you fold together your racing gates just by putting these tabs in here. 
spreading out these ones here, and then per the Nintendo instructions, putting something heavy on the edges. This is actually far more important than even they let on because I pretty much guarantee you as you're ripping around on the track, you're going to ram into these things. And if you hit them, well, this is an augmented reality game. So the way that the cart actually determines what it's looking at is it looks at uh, the relative position of this graphic here on the front of the gate to the objects around it to determine where the course is supposed to be. So if you hit it and then back up, your course is gonna be a little bit wonky now. So you wanna anchor those down real good. These are much easier to fold the second time. You can print out your own. Nintendo does provide templates, but obviously it's gonna be a fair bit of work to create something that's quite as nice looking as the stock gates. Oh, you can buy them too? All right, thanks James. You get a total of four gates and the way that you configure your track is you go park yourself in front of gate number one and you'll get a prompt to press X. And then what you do is a little likey to, late to It comes, put some paint on your wheels in an obnoxiously long animation like Nintendo, come on. Have you played the Nintendo Switch Mario Party? The endless animations and explanations for things you already know, just complete. Anyway, the animation puts some paint on your wheels and then you roll through gate one and then map out whatever kind of course you like. And you can decide, okay, look, I want my course to be obstruction free. I'm just gonna do a simple loop. Or you can kind of you know, wind your way between shoes and chair legs and all kinds of cool stuff that by the way is worth it because it ends up being a ton of fun. The one thing to watch out for is after you complete your course with all four gates, unfortunately, no, there is no way to add more than four gates, even if you have more than one kit, is that if you have physical obstacles, the AI players who are augmented reality inserted into your field of view, uh, do not have to respect them and they will go through them, giving them a bit of an unfair advantage. Now that's not to say that you can't use multiple kits if you want. You can actually play with up to four players. We'll talk about that in a minute. The last augmented reality pieces we have here are these arrows. And it's actually really cool the way that they, they light up in front of you when you're you know, ripping around on the course and they indicate, of course, which way to go. Now let's talk about multiplayer. There's only two different versions available. And from my perspective, I'm sitting there going like, Nintendo, you're a how many like billion dollar company? Obviously you'd have to have Bowser Yoshi. and then Yoshi. Yeah, like Peach. Peach, yeah. Yeah, how do they not have? Okay, maybe that's their problem. They got too many iconic characters. Okay, I probably would have gone Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi. And feel free to fight in the comments if you disagree. Um, so there's only two versions of the carts and you can play with up to four players in real time. Now we haven't actually tried it yet, but what I'm imagining is that based on my experience racing against the AI players, there's pretty much no reason to use this instead of just playing a normal Mario Kart game. But based on my experience, just using the, the camera mounted like, what is this, like three inches off the ground, just ripping around my house with that camera view, it looks surprisingly good and like, it is so fun. It's exactly like what I said it was like back when we rigged a, an action cam to an RC car and then like a racing wheel. It is, it is just a blast. The car moves about like this, like it's not fast, but it feels like you are flying along the floor because you're so close to the ground and the way that Nintendo mixes in augmented reality screen effects, like, you know, when you use a mushroom, for example. Yeah, there's items. When you use a mushroom, it like kind of whooshes past you, makes it feel way faster than it actually is. There's three separate race speeds, 50cc, 100cc, and 150cc. Initial verdict from me is, wow, is this ever not worth $100 for the single player experience? But if you happen to be able to, this is the problem with Nintendo, man. They create these amazing gaming experiences that are like, for who? Yeah. Like when, you know, you think back to like even trading in the original Pokemon games. Okay, so I have to have the game. I have to be super into it. My friend has to have the game. They have to be super into it. One of us has to get a link cable. We have to have coordinated ahead of time to like buy the opposite version of the game. We have to go get all the Pokemon, the other one. Like, who are you designing this stuff for? Out of the box, doesn't make a ton of sense. If you happen to have a bunch of people who also own it, who also own Switches, I mean, we are talking like two grand worth of investment <laughs> by the time you've got enough to have a four player race. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun.
So I'm gonna go do that now. Make sure you subscribe to Short Circuit and don't miss the Linus Tech Tips video where we're gonna have a winner takes all four player battle to the death Mario Kart race. Yeah. What's that? To the death? Yeah. Well, not to the death, but like, hey, vacation time. To the death. <laughs> to the death. James wants it to be to the death. Right, See you later. <laughs>